Hi, this is Rebecca Delosier, and this is a tutorial on creating shared student folders. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to make folders for all of your students by class that have standardized names. Um, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and get into your Google Drive. Um, so I'm going to go into Chrome because I find it easier to use uh, Chrome to do um, all of the Google scripts. Uh, if I actually already have all of this done, I would be using Firefox. But since we're going to be using a bunch of scripts today, I'm going to go ahead and use Chrome. And then I'm going to create a spreadsheet. So I clicked on the Create button, and then I'm doing Spreadsheet. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to go in to my student roster that I created earlier, and I'm going to highlight all of these kids' names. Um, and uh, I'm just going to copy them. And actually, you can do this later, so we'll actually do that later. So let's see what happens if you if you haven't done that yet. So we're going to go up here to Add-ons, and we're going to go to uh, Get Add-ons. And you're going to want to go and get the add-on G Class Folders. So it's G Class Folders. And um, you're going to want to select Add. I already have it installed, so it doesn't give me an option for that. But you'll just select Add. Then once you go in here to add-ons, you'll have the option for G-Class folders. And you'll need to go ahead and do the initial setup if you didn't attend the session. We are going to do the initial setup together during the session. Um, so once you have done the initial setup, you just go to G-Class folders. And we're going to um, click on initial setup. And it will go ahead and it will just give you a roster. So here's my roster and um, we're going to go ahead and we're just going to put the, our students' names in here. So I've got student first name, student last name, student email, class name. So I've got that, that spreadsheet that we created, and the order that we have them in is a little different. So I'm just going to go through and I'm going to copy first name and then paste first name um, in here. So let's go ahead and I've got all of that copied already. So. I'm going to go copy all of these first names and move them out of the way for now. And then I'm just going to move all these last names into there. Now you'll notice um, that my top, my header row is still present. We're going to delete that in a second. So now I have students' first names, students' last names, students' emails, and I have the class name because we already did that. So if you look, my headings match. First, first, last, last, email, email, class, class. Now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to delete this row because we don't need that. Um, and I just have my kids' names. So if you wanted to go ahead and separate your students' folders by class period, you can. I find that um, with, with mine, that doesn't make a lot of sense because my only... Um, class that I teach twice a day is AP Biology, and there's a lot of movement between the class periods over the course of the year. But if you teach a, a nine-week or an 18-week course and your students are pretty constant for that entire time period in the same class period, it might make sense to go ahead and, and go ahead and type a class period here. So what you could do is you could just do um, one, and then so I would go ahead and make all my physics kids first period. Uh, but that's totally optional. The next thing you have to do, this is not optional, is you have to type your email address. And it has to be your at staff.lasc.net. So mine is delosier -er at staff.lasc.net. And then you need to go ahead and you need to drag that all the way down for all of your students. Um, and I dragged a little too far, so let me delete those. That's it. That's all you have to do. Then you go here to Add-ons, Google Class Folders, and you click Create Folders. Um, I'm not going to do that in the actual video because I've actually already done that with my students and I don't want them to have two copies of the folder. But I can show you what it looks like. Um, so if you go in to my drive and I go to my students 2014-2015, I have two folders here, AP Biology students and Physics students. And I created those folders. What Google Class Folder does is it creates this. It creates a, um, a set of folders. So it creates a set of folders for 
um, AP Bio Edit, AP Bio Teacher, AP Bio View, and Assignment Folders. And this one's a little more complicated because I've added stuff into it, so let's look at the physics. So here's, here's a basic one. Um, assignment Folders, Physics Edit, Physics Teacher, Physics View. So Teacher is anything that you want to just go ahead and store there just for yourself. And I don't tend to keep anything there because I forget that it's there from year to year. View would be anything that you want your kids to be able to access and pull down, um, but you don't want them to edit. Uh, physics edit is just what it sounds like. It's anything that you want all of the students to be able to edit. Now, anything that you put in there, all the kids can edit. So that's a good thing to do if, you're, if you've got a list of um, topics and you're having them all go sign up for something uh, or if they're working on a group review, that's a good way to go ahead and, and do some collaborative learning uh, through Google Drive without you having to do a ton of work. But the beauty of Google Class folders is here. So these are the assignment folders and you can see um, that the assignment folders, let me click on it, uh, you can see all of my assignment folders for all of my uh, physics kids in alphabetical order. Um, and if you look here, um, you see that this folder is bolded. That means that that kid has actually turned something in since the last time I was in the folder. And you can see that because it's the time. So I could sort here, and that shows me um, the most recent. And the way that you turn that bold print on is you go here uh, to the gear, and then you go to settings, and uh, then you just click here where it says bold any updated items. So that's that's kind of how I tell if my kids, you know, I go through the folders and I look at my physics kids work when I have them turn stuff in and if there's bolded folders there then I know that there's materials in there that I haven't looked at. Uh, you can also click here on the I for details and activity and as long as I'm in my physics assignments folder here I can see any of the activity that my students have done. I can see exactly what they've uploaded in those areas. and so. I have these folders. I control these folders. They're automatically shared with the students. Um, they show up and they're shared with me. They will have to go ahead and add them to their um, their drive so it's easier to upload things to. But there's consistency. They're all in one folder and I can go ahead and um, kind of keep my drive organized with that way. So that's Google Class folders. Um, if you have any questions, just go ahead and give me a call at 3248 or come by D221.